everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Brooklyn Diddington and I do makeup tutorials and sometimes hair tutorials if you're lucky um, but today we did this foundation look we didn't do eyes today so this is just the eyes up close and then the foundation so we did a super glowy type of look normally I am all matte but like I just said we went with a glowy look today and we used a newer foundation that I've only used a few times so if you want to see how I got this then just keep watching if you do like this video or if you do like me please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and also hit that little bell somewhere around here um, so every time that I upload you will be notified without further ado let's jump right into the video all right so we have our eyes done all i have on is epic mascara so i'm gonna go in with these lashes these are the ardell mega volume lashes in the number 253 i have like seven sets of these because they are so gorgeous and i'm gonna go in with the duo lash glue i believe this is just clear but it is in the green packaging so i'm gonna take my lash and my lash glue and we're just going to brush some glue onto this little lash here less is more because if you just throw on a bunch of glue you're going to have to let that glue dry so if you throw on a bunch it's going to take forever for it to dry so we just did a little thin layer these lashes have heavily been used um i've gotten probably five uses six uses out of these so we're gonna have to open up some new ones soon they're still really good though just they just need a deep clean um, if you want to see a video on how I clean my lashes then comment down below and I will totally do a video for you okay so we let it dry a little so now I'm just going to pop it on I do the center and then I do the outer. And then I just go in and squeeze it all down. Okay. And there we have the lash. So now I'm going to do the other one off camera. So we have these lashes on they look gorgeous as always so i went ahead and went in with the nivea men post shave balm this is what i've been using for primer i use it every once in a while and i really like it it's super nice and it makes my face super tacky to get me ready for foundation all right so for foundation we're going to go in with the makeup revolution defining conceal foundation i'm in the shade f5 so we're just going to pop some of this on Okay, so I'm going to take this flat kabuki brush. This is very similar to the Morphe Y6 brush, which I think they just changed the number to like the M6 or something like that. But it's very similar and it works really good. It's from BH Cosmetics and it is in the number three, but this comes in a brush set. So we're just going to buff this into my face. Okay, so this is about the second, maybe third time that I'm using this foundation, and I really like it. It's super full coverage and super lightweight. Um, I also am just going to take my blender and just press it in a little better. But it looks super nice and super flawless. So for concealer, I'm going to use the matching concealer from Makeup Revolution. And I'm in the shade C4, which is one shade lighter than my foundation. So for concealer, you want to go one or two shades lighter than your foundation. Not super light though, because then you'll look all crazy. Okay, so now we're going to blend this. Okay, now to bake, I'm going to go in with the Cody Air Sprint, Cody Air Sun, and do a little bit of baking. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to take the Unique Mineral Touch Pressed Powder in the shade Chiffon, and just dust this, or actually I'm going to press it 
all over. All right, to contour, we are going in with the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. As always, I'm liking this a lot lately because it just gives me a very defined, nice, cool tone bronze, and I feel like this will work for just about anyone. So I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild um, contouring brush and do these cheeks. Okay, so the setting powder under has sat for probably about 10 minutes. So I'm going to take this brush. Again, it's from that same brush set, the BH Cosmetics one. It's in the number two. And we're just going to dust this away. Okay, for blush, we're going to take this IT Cosmetics blush palette. Yes, I have completely destroyed this highlighter, blush, whatever it was. I destroyed it, so... There she sits. But we're gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna take this IT Cosmetics blush brush and we're just going to put some of this on. Okay, to highlight today, we're gonna take the Unique A La Mode highlighter in the shade Lustrous and the same highlighting brush I always use from Slim Miss Glam and highlight. Okay, so I went ahead and carved out my contour and set my chin again because my chin gets super oily and I don't want that to get all messed up. And I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil, I think is what it's called, yes, palette. And I'm going to take this orange right here and we're going to smoke out my lower lash line. Okay, for lips, I'm going to take this sample of Unique Lucky Gloss, I think is what it is. Yeah. And we're just going to pop this on. So the last step is to set this face with the Touch Behold Setting Spray from Unique. And that'll finish this look. All right, everybody, so this is the finished look. If you liked this look, then please tell me down below what your favorite part was. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys later. Bye.